Hi friends, how are you? Good to see everybody again. Uh, I have a very special guest here today. He's a member of our Garden Oaks, Oak Forest, NIA group. So happy to have him. <laughs> I'm buttering up because I'm gonna ask him a bunch of questions. So <laughs> please meet Eric Fondu. No, damn it, I practiced ahead of time. Oh, Thanks it's fine. Uh, so it's Eric Fontenot. No, it's just, yeah. it's a beautiful name. It's just hard to pronounce. And I'm it sorry, is. we practiced no ahead problem. of time. No problem. <laughs> All right, enough about your name. So you're with Edward Jones, you're a financial advisor, right? So tell yes. me a little bit about that. Yeah, so, uh, you know, that's kind of what I tell people. I'm a wealth manager with uh, with Edward Jones, and, and really my goal is to partner with successful professionals to positively impact and support, you know, their lives and financial goals. Uh, my focus is really the, the clients, their loved ones, and, and their dependents, uh, and I just utilize a, an established process to understand why particular goals are, are important, um, what success looks like for the for the clients, uh, and where's our starting point in, in trying to achieve those goals. So let me ask you this, is it ever too late to start? Never too late to start. It's uh, the old adage, uh, you know, it's better late than, uh, than never. Um, you know, we all come from from different places. We all come from different backgrounds and have different starting points. And uh, the key is just being intentional about uh, achieving your goals. Not really, you know, time helps and, and time's going to make more of a difference, but that shouldn't keep anybody from starting. So that's my next question. Is it ever too early to start? It is never too early to start. Uh, in fact, I have uh, we have two small boys. Uh, they are almost eight and, and six. Um, and I already have S&P 500 index funds for them. Uh, they get extra birthday money or, or things like that, and they don't need all those toys. Uh, I don't tell them about it, but that's kind of where my wife and I sock the extra cash. Well, they'll be thankful a little later. Exactly. <laughs> So it really does make a difference to have a plan and to work with somebody who knows how to do this, who knows the ins and outs, who knows the, the secret code. There's no secret code, but you know the ins and outs to really understand the process because it really helps plan for a future. It saves families future, correct? It, it does. And it's just there. there's so much information. We're so busy as, as professionals these days, and uh, it's hard to keep up with everything. And uh, we just don't all have the financial education and the, and the time to do those. So, you know, I find that uh, that my services, other financial advisor services are really having that that partner in your corner to, uh, you know, keep your emotions in check, make sure we're making good financial decisions uh, and then, you know, paying appropriate attention and being being intentional uh, to the goals that we're trying to reach. So don't guess. <laughs> Talk don't to guess. an expert. Yeah. Don't guess. <laughs> Do not just go through the list and start checking them off. Call Eric. He will help you. So whatever your yes. goals are. Uh, exactly. And I mean, sometimes, uh, you know, uh, folks aren't maybe a, a good fit for, for this office. Um, I'm more about, you know, helping folks, uh, you know, if we can't uh, provide that help or assistance that they need, uh, finding folks through, you know, the network of Edward Jones or other people that we know uh, to make sure they're paired up with the right person that can that can help them. Oh, good to know. So what do you love most about your career? Uh, man, I, I mean, it's, uh, it, it's really easy. I mean, I just love uh, helping people. I love educating uh, and I love serving the, the community's financial needs. Um, as I mentioned before, we don't all have the, you know, the proper financial education. We don't all have the, the time to be successful, but that doesn't mean uh, we don't deserve it. That doesn't mean that, that we can't have it. Um, you know, each of one of us is, is unique um, and we all want to be successful, but that looks different for each of us. So I enjoy, you know, learning, you know, what, what that looks like for, for folks uh, and being a, a positive influence or a positive impact along that journey uh, and then celebrating when, you know, those, those rewarding milestones are, are achieved. That's wonderful. It must be very satisfying because I mean that's a huge impact, huge. It is. Yeah, it's it's very satisfying, but it also, um, you know, it 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 result. Anything with gratification comes with a lot of pressure. Um, you know, you're you're dealing with you you're at people's you know high points, um, low points, and and in between. 
um, you know, I'm definitely here to help with the with the blocking and tackling and the more financial planning. Um, but it's also a, a personal relationship and there's a lot of emotions that are tied to it. Um, so I try to balance both those emotions and the financial decisions um, because there's no you know, silver bullet for investment. There's no silver bullet that balances those emotional and the, the financial goals. Uh, having the best return doesn't always result in the, in the least amount of emotions or even achieving the, the goal. Um, so just making sure we have the right mindset and, and help it along with those peaks and valleys that we're bound to, to face as we, we go through life. Well, that's very good because there is a lot of ups and downs. So you're there to help smooth out the process. So that's we good. are, and I mean, especially in this market right now, right? It's a, it, it's kind of a little bit of a historic market. Um, you know, fixed income is down year to date, the worst in history, and that's impacting a lot of folks' portfolios, or it's hurting retirees. So you know, the the market changes, the world changes. Nothing is ever constant. Um, so, you know, just being there to help people through those changes and, um, you know, really gratifying and, and, you know, comes with a lot of pressure, but it's also very, uh, you're grateful for that, for that trust. Um, and you're, you're excited to see your clients succeed. That's wonderful. Cause it is, that's, that's so, I get goosebumps when you talk about it. You really <laughs> are helping. <laughs> uh, yeah, I love it. I'm, I'm super passionate about it. I could, I could talk about it all day long. Uh, sometimes that's good. Sometimes that's bad, but uh, you know, uh, at least I love it. You don't want an advisor that, that doesn't like what they're doing. True that. <laughs> so what's the best way to reach you? Email, phone, combination yeah, I, yeah, uh, either one of those. I mean, um, phone works. Um, you know, our office number is 713-880-3055. Um, either my uh, myself or my assistant would, um, you know, pick up the phone. And that's easy to, uh, easy way to schedule some time, have an introduction call, um, you know, kind of learn a little bit about each other and then just, you know, see if future conversations would be, uh, would be beneficial. Um, I could also be reached out or reached uh, by email. Uh, that's just my name, Eric dot Fontenot. You at have Edward, to spell it. <laughs> yeah, at edwardjones.com. Uh, uh, Eric is E-R-I-C uh, dot Fontenot, F-O-N-T-E-N-O-T -T, at edwardjones.com. Probably a lot easier just to remember the, the phone number, but that's also a way that, that you can reach us. See, now you understand why I goofed it up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> easy to do. Ever since I moved to Texas, I just got used to, uh, you know, I just go into spelling my last name or, or you know, correcting pronunciation. Sometimes uh, it's just not that easy, um, but it's it's fine. It happens. You're very gracious about it. I grew up with the last name Johnson, so I never had any issues. Yeah, that, that's the most common last name in the, in the U.S., I'm sure. Yes. Okay, <laughs> enough about names. <laughs> Thank you so much, Eric, for joining us. Please call Eric if you have any financial questions. He's a great guy. I've known him for years. We served on a board together. He will take very good care of you. And he really cares and he really loves what he does. So do. give Eric a call. Thank you very much, Jennifer. Thank you. See you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.